What is your right to a speedy trial in Texas? Well, you should know that you have a right to a speedy trial both under the US Constitution and the Texas Constitution, but it's inherent on you to let the court know or tell the court if your speedy rights have been violated. In other words, you can't sit back and let your attorney or you continually reset or move a case in agreement with the prosecutor without asserting your speedy trial rights. And how do you do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is you gotta tell the court that your speedy rights have been violated. You do that by asking your attorney to file a speedy trial demand and a motion to dismiss your case based on a speedy trial violation. Once you file that motion, both the US Supreme Court and Texas courts have found that a delay in your case approaching one year is sufficient to trigger a speedy trial delay. In other words, a delay approaching one year is sufficient for you to start claiming that your speedy rights have been violated. Second, once you've shown that it's been one year since your case was filed or since you were charged, the burden then switches to the state. The state has to show that there's a legitimate reason for the delay of your case. If they can't show that, or if they have no reason for the delay, the presumption on the court would be that there's no legitimate reason. Third, and I touched on this a little bit earlier, you have to assert your right to a speedy trial. And you do that by filing those two motions I mentioned. You have to make a speedy trial demand and you have to file a motion to dismiss based on your speedy trial violation. And the last thing you have to do is show some type of prejudice. You have to show that because of the delay, and this doesn't just mean the fact that you're arrested. The fact that you're arrested, that you went through some anxiety or concern, or you lost a job, or delayed an important event like a wedding, everyone experiences those things when they're arrested. What's important for you to show or complain about to show you've been prejudiced, it's, it's not the fact that you're arrested, it's the delay that's caused you to lose a job, or lose a promotion, or leave the country. It's not the fact that you were arrested. Say you were arrested for a DWI, and uh, your case was resolved within a year, okay? So there wasn't that one year delay in your case. Then you can't complain that you were prejudiced. And also let's say that it's been more than a year. So your right to a speedy trial or your right to complain about a speedy trial violation has been triggered under the law. In your argument to the court, you say, because you were arrested, you lost your job. Or because you were arrested, you lost your right to a promotion. That's irrelevant in a speedy trial case. It doesn't matter if you did it or not, if you're guilty or not. None of that comes into play. The important part to show is that the delay, the delay caused you to lose the job, not the fact that you were arrested. If you have any questions about the law that you would like answered, please leave a comment below. Or you can call us at Varghese Somerset and our phone number is 817-203-2220.